Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. Today in this tutorial I would like to show you how to export for screens and how you can use the Asset Export panel to really speed up your workflow, where you can export your icons or logos with one single click. Now first I would like to show you the Export for Screens window. First we're going to File, Export and we'll choose Export for Screens. In the Export for Screens window we have two tabs. One is called Artboard and as you can see I'm working with one artboard and then we have another tab called Assets. Here you can export the assets independently of any artboard and all you have to do is drag them into the Asset Export panel. Now we either can open the Asset Export panel right in this window or if I cancel we can also open the Asset Export panel via Window, Asset Export and then we have the Asset Export panel open. Now let me minimize this. So if I select all of my icons on my artboard and I'll open up the Asset Export panel, I simply can drag them inside and watch what happens. I've added all of those icons into the Asset Export panel and then I can individually export them with the sizes that I'm going to set up. I can either choose from the format PNG, PNG8, JPEG, even SVG and PDF. I can pre-select assets for iOS or even for Android. Down here on the bottom we can also switch to go to the Export for Screens panel and then we can either select all of the assets and then export the assets and we can choose where to export to and even check to open the location after export and create subfolders. For example if you are choosing various formats. Now if you selected all of them and you would like to clear the selection we can do this by clicking clear selection and then nothing is selected. In this case, we can select singly the assets that we want to export. For example, I just want to export the calendar icon and the clock icon and I can just select those and export them. At the same time, I can click on the name as well and rename them. Simply click once and you will be able to rename your assets. We can switch easily also from a small thumbnail view to a large thumbnail view. But before we're going to export, let me cancel here. If in any case you save the file now and then you're going to reopen your file, all of your assets would still be in here. Now if you don't want the assets anymore in your asset export panel, just select the first one, scroll all the way down to the bottom, hold the shift key, this will select all of them and then you can just delete them. This doesn't delete them from the artboard, it just removes them from the asset export panel. You can also easily minimize the export settings, you can get more information and of course you can simply instead of dragging them into the asset export panel, when everything is selected that you want to add, add the selected art grid to this panel. In the flyout menu here we can choose again between a list view and a grid view. We can also open up format settings and then we can specify specifically how many colors we want for example for the PNG8, what would we like to do with JPEGs and so on. And again, since they're all highlighted, you can see the blue border around, I can just delete them again for the asset export panel. Of course, you can add your icons or logos or any kind of shapes you have singly into the asset export panel. Now, for example, I have an icon here in two parts, the clock and the bigger circle behind. Now, if I select this and drag it into the asset export panel, you can see it will create two assets, one with the clock and then the circle behind. Now if I want to add it all together as one single asset, all I have to do is hold the Option or Alt key and then drag it into the Asset panel. Now it created one single asset. This is really helpful if you have shapes with backgrounds and sometimes you want to include the background to be exported. Now when I've added everything into the panel, I want to make sure I select all of them. Pay attention when you select an asset that you have the highlighted blue border around. Then we click export, we'll choose the folder that we want to export it to and then we press choose. Now here's the folder where I exported all those icons. So as you can see here it created the subfolders for us. The only thing that we didn't do is rename them. So make sure when you export them they have the proper names so you don't get confused especially if you're working with tons of icons. Now since I've added all those to the asset export panel, I can close it, deselect, continue working and maybe even create new icons and then I'm going to go back open up the window again. So I go back to window, asset export and you can see they're still here and I can add more assets to it. 
Now, if I even were to go to File, Export, Export for Screens, nothing is selected here. I just have one artboard with my icons. But as you can see, because we have assets in our panel, it will show up here in the Asset tab. And then I can repeat the same thing. I can choose where I want it to export to, if I want the folder to be opened afterward when everything is finished, and if I want to create subfolders as well. If I go back to the artboard, we can see that we just have one single artboard. So if you just wanted to export one single artboard with your icons, you can do this as well. Of course, the same, you can rename your assets. You can select them singly, or you can even choose to select them all by selecting here all assets and then export them. Since we already have done that via the asset export panel, I won't repeat this step. And this is it for this tutorial. This was a quick tip on how to collect your assets and export them in batches. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, if you liked it, or if you would like to see more about this subject. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.